Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's correct. Mm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yes, some people use walking sticks to help them move around uh, when they get old. When they get older. Hmm. Uh, dogs like to fetch sticks. That you throw for them. I'd prefer to live by the sea than to live by a lake. Uh, this evening, I'd prefer to go out for dinner than to simply go home. Uh, we sometimes, from a noun, from an adjectives, by adding the letters any SS to the adjective. A rate, rateness. I had my last illness uh, one month ago. The reason for tiredness is too much work, not enough sleep, etc. The reason of darkness at night is that the world turns completely round every 24 hours. Another way of saying he lives on his own is he lives alone. I live with other people. Uh, no, I don't prefer to go on holiday alone. I prefer to go in company. No, the lesson hasn't finished yet. It's still in progress. Uh, no, I'm not able to speak English without making any mistakes yet. I still make some mistakes. Uh, no, we aren't in winter yet. We are still in autumn. Yes, we've already studied stage four of the current method. The three forms of slow are slow through strong. Uh, yes, I've thrown something way by mistake it was worth a lot of money uh, i threw away my purse <laughs> you were my word yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah uh. uh, 
uh, some people do dangerous sports in spite of the danger because they find them exciting. As some foods that are very popular despite being bad for the health are uh, ramen, Japanese ramen, uh, coke, coke, drink of coke, uh, a pizza, yeah, hamburgers, yeah, etc. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yes, I think it's worth learning a foreign language in spite of the fact that it's quite difficult. Yes, in spite of a lot of studying a lot of words and the grammars, I still find English a little difficult. Instead of anybody, somebody, and nobody, we can use anyone, someone, and no one. Yes, someone came into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson. <clears throat> Uh, no one went out of that room two minutes ago. Uh, the opposite of the verb to rent is it's to borrow. Yes, we should always give back the things we borrow. Yes, if I forgot to bring a pair with me to school, I'd have to borrow borrow. Uh, I have to have to borrow one from another student. Mm. Mm. Uh, this is my own book. Yes, yes, I live in my own house. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that's your own book. I think it belongs to to, sc to school, to the school, mm, to the school. Mm. I don't think that's your own book. I think it belongs to the school. Uh, it's your skin. We use wire to carry electricity to connecting to connect things together, etc. By a wire wireless internet connection we mean that we can connect to the internet without connecting wires to our computer instead of instead of a wireless internet connection we can say wi-fi Yes, some bars and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers. Uh, 
wi-fi Uh, three ways of cooking potatoes are boiling, frying, roasting. Uh, I prefer fried eggs to boiled eggs. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes to boil potatoes. Uh, a wall is normally built of bricks. Mm. Uh, the words as well and to go at the end of the sentence, but the word also usually goes after the first. Uh, the first auxiliary verb. Auxiliary. I will be sleeping at 3 a.m. My sister will be sleeping as well. As well. My mother will be sleeping too. My brother will also will also be sleeping. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Mm. I love coffee and I also love tea. Future continuous. Mm. I will be speaking. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. We use the future continuous for an action that will be in progress at the particular time in the future. I will be working at this time tomorrow. I think I'll be uh, working at this time tomorrow. Uh, no, I want to be studying English in 50 years' time. I think I'll be living in 10 uh, uh, living here in 10 years' time. Inch. Hut. Yard. Hmm. Hmm. No. 
It's an inch. It's a foot. It's a yard. About two and a half centimeters make an inch. Uh, Twelve inches make a foot. Three feet make a yard. Hmm. Uh, no, a yard isn't longer than a meter. It's shorter than a meter. Oh no, we need down a hundred yards. We don't run further than a hundred meters. We run less than a hundred meters. Oh, oh. chain. Hmm. 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 Oh, oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, no, I'm not wearing a chain. When we say someone is a chain smoker, we mean that he or she smokes one cigarette after another without stopping like a chain. Rise constantly. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. 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 Hey. Are uh, your books rising in the air? Uh, no, the sunrise uh, doesn't rise early in winter. It rises late. Uh, yes, the cost of living is constantly rising these days. Uh, if that table slowly began to rise into the air without anybody touching it, I ran out of the room. Belt. Hmm. 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 Uh, no, I'm not wearing a bear belt. Hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Hmm. Hmm. The words hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly mean every hour, 
every day, every week, every month, and, and every year. Hmm. Uh, yes, most radio stations have hourly traffic news. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I did uh, Yomiuri newspaper. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't read any weekly newspapers. Hmm. Oh, I study about 15 hours of English monthly. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I usually go to Hokkaido for my yearly holidays. Okay. Okay. Two hundred uh, yearly. Okay, the three forms of I don't know. Uh, what the three forms of uh, English verb? The three forms of of an English verb are present, uh, present, the past, and the past participle. Uh, give me an example, please.